Tell me something about yourself. Yes, yeah. I am. My name is Veronica. I am an eleven-year-old girl. Okay. I am a digital. Art- I am a digital artist as well as a traditional artist, and oh. I also like to sing. Oh, great, great. So, uh, what's the art like? I mean, what kind of art you're practicing? I mean, is this something different? More like cartoonish art, manga, and anime kind of art styles. Not realistic ones, though. Okay. And uh, where did you learn all that? I started it by watching some digital artists do artwork on YouTube. Then I got the craze to do that myself. I started to look on YouTube for tutorials, and I started to learn it, and I got. improved or something like that and <laughs> really clearly oh well, that's fabulous so you have been doing something different i mean i i've never seen uh, you know at least i have not been practicing art we have been doing <laughs> conventional art i used to make subhash chandra bose portrait and uh, yeah. you know uh, very easy ones uh, right m which will become a cap and then right six which will become a nose and then so <laughs> I mean, so, uh, uh, what else have you learned? I mean, how do you think it is very difficult for the for someone to follow? Sometimes, for beginners, yes, art can be very hard to follow because at first, the most the most common mistakes beginners do is that they don't follow the shapes or they don't practice do practice doing shapes. which makes their art look a bit wonky okay mm-hmm. all right i think yeah so but uh, I, how how about your your how about the appreciation from your parents I mean, are your parents happy about it or they are critical about it i mean how do you how do you manage the stress if at all you have do you have a stress I mean, no, I'm not sure, but when I start, uh, when I first started doing arts, my parents were kind of surprised. I think. Mm-hmm. I think that my sister, when I showed her an artwork that I made, that actually came out very good, she was like, "How did you do that?" And I got somehow motivated by it, and I kept doing it and doing it and doing it, and I improved. So, uh, you you say that. you know your parents were quite supportive of that yeah they were i think my mother wanted me to become a doctor at some point she was just like you will become a doctor but then that shifted to engineering and then in it shifted from engineering to architecture mm-hmm. oh so architecture i think somehow matches with what you are doing right so maybe yeah because because i want to do engineering but i wa- also want to pursue my art kind of career or whatever so i think being an art architect would be kind quite the best thing to do it i don't know okay i can do i i do have the option to be a digital artist online but the thing is i also want to do engineering because my father is an engineer and he might know how to guide me through all that exams and stuff all right let me check uh, your architectural craving whether you have that craving or not. so when you enter a house when you enter a house what do you think the first thing i mean what comes to your mind you enter somebody's the house the first thing that comes to my mind is if the place is neat or uh, the designs of the walls the designs of sofas and stuff like that okay do you find like you you feel like refurbishing it completely change everything the whole set kind of. everything do you like like a, a bit of it <laughs> like uh, for example when i'm going in my school bus i see some houses that are being made uh, like as if they're not completed yet okay under construction so yeah they're in under construction and then i get the the urge to just make the building myself <laughs> wow 
but the but the but the only way I can do it is by playing Minecraft and yeah. Mm. All right, but none of the architects are uh, using Minecraft, do they? No, I I think I use it because. Uh, most of the gamers online use it because obviously it's a gaming platform but because of the fact that we have the capability capability to we have the access to build anything in that game i think i am very uh, i have the freedom to actually build houses in it even though the textures are just blocks a bunch of blocks and pixels okay 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 now um how how how's your school? I mean, how do you enjoy your school? I mean, what about what what uh, can you can you give credit to your school for uh, you know whatever is your dream? You know? Yeah, kind of because uh, back in Shimla when I was in Auckland, I had uh, my art teacher named Upasna, and she kind of really uh, liked my art. In third class, I wasn't. I don't think I was really much of a very good child in uh, studies but when i used to <laughs> the only thing i knew how to draw was a stick man at that time but even when i showed my art teacher the painting she used to appreciate it and i felt the urge that i have to keep making this teacher proud and uh, happy with my art so, so that's when i decide that's one of the points where i decided to improve it wow good good so you are give, giving the credit to your teachers right and uh, <laughs> yeah. what about uh, what about the what about the school you are in now i think you uh, you told me that you have changed the school you're in a different school now how how are you enjoying the school there I think the teachers are very friendly and I can open up to them very well. Unlike the past school where we had to be kind of very formal, I think I think we had to be very formal with them. Because, for example, when we used to greet our teachers back in Auckland House, we used to greet them with a formal greeting such as good afternoon or good morning. But here kids... Can even say bye or hi, ma'am. Oh, wow! So you are in a different, uh, you are in a different position here. Can we say that? Yeah, kind of. Uh, these teachers have also made the interest in my studies. Kind of, they made studying kind of interesting. My science teacher makes science kind of funny and interesting. Maths teacher. Is just genuinely funny. Okay. Okay. Uh, the SST teacher, uh, the SST teacher always makes quizzes to help us get an interest in uh, the tap chapter we're reading and stuff like that. Hmm. <clears throat> All right. Okay. So, what what do you think is the contribution of communication in some ways, like? Do you think communications is some way important because our channel is dedicated to more communication skills? Uh, do you think is it important some ways? Yes, it is important because usually, in my perspective, when you are acting unmannered or I mean ill-mannered or just not talking to them nicely, they will take your character as a bad perspective. For example, if I talk to someone rudely, mm -hmm. okay. the person will probably try its best to not talk to me again because I will hurt their feelings. They will assume that I will hurt their feelings again. Okay. Okay. All right. Understood. Okay. So, fine. So, you are talking about the verbal, verbal, you know, kind of moves. Like you have, uh, uh, what about what what about a non-verbal thing? You know, when you're not talking, but you're giving some kind of impression, expressions which are not healthy at all. Even then, yeah, I mean, will stay away from you, right? Yeah, uh, sometimes those expressions are even more hurtful than actually saying those words. So. Exactly, exactly. 
exactly it 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 goes deep inside right it pricks you uh deep yeah inside. okay fine and then uh, are teachers teaching you something on this i mean uh, in your schools are are teachers talking about it that it is an important thing and you must learn all that usually when uh, a scene happens at school that uh, a child said a bad word at school and things like that the child talked very inappropriately to uh, another child that's when they try to explain it but usually that's not the topic i think that's usually not explained but in lower classes such as lkg and uh, from lkg to first i think that they teach us this okay but at your level uh, in uh, the standard you are in uh, there is no formal education on this uh, topic on this aspect right okay how did you learn to communicate i mean is it just mere observation or it is your interest uh, that you are able to talk so well uh, actually i kind of observe people but i also watch a lot of foreigner youtubers a lot that's why i have developed the habit of talking to someone in english if they talk to me in english but if they reply to my sentence in hindi i start i automatically start speaking in hindi that's kind of all right all right so how did you work on your english i mean was it like uh, it, it was because you were in, in a school like auckland and where they were forcing you to, not forcing i mean it was mandatory for you to speak in english um, i mean is is that the thing so, uh, a bit, yeah i mean it was compulsory to talk in english sometimes like in front of the principal of course you can't talk to her, uh, talk to her in hindi that will be very informal but uh, i think i improved my english by watching those foreigner youtubers because they can also talk casually but in some of the videos they also talk very formally so i know how to do that because i watch a lot of youtube uh, 24/7 i'm kind of on the screen watching those youtubers communicate and stuff like that okay so you are you are always glued to the screen is that so yeah i yeah. am so uh, how how about your parents are they not are they not uh, stopping you to stay away from this and how are you managing, how are you managing like studies and remaining glued to the screen usually i uh feel like when i'm at school i actually feel like studying because there's like a proper desk and a board where the teacher is actually teaching us something okay. i don't feel, uh so i just complete my homework there and that's it okay. when i come back home all that motivation to study is gone and <laughs> i just want to do, <laughs> i just want to do art so listen to music that's what i want to do after i come home because I completed my homework at school. There's no point in doing it. So you think when it is it comes to study, the place is school, not not home. Yeah. Uh, sometimes it's better. I feel that it'll be much better to study at school instead of at home because. Even though I do have a desk, the computer is right in front of me and. the urge to the urge to open the desktop and watch some of the youtubers is kind of very wrong okay okay but the right. computers aren't understood okay all right so is there anything that you want to share i mean is there anything uh, um, what else can Is there anything that you want to uh, ask me? No, no, no. No? No. No. Okay. Right. You don't want to you don't want to have a communication proper with me. I mean, why I should be only asking questions? You can also ask me questions, right? Uh, no, because I think 
I don't know anything about your career that I can ask you, but look like that. Okay, so you're not the I, best at questioning. If I, if I talk about that, will you be able to question me? Yeah, sure. Yeah, so if I talk about it, then I have been working with aircraft for about seventeen years, and then I'm an engineer by profession. I've been. Uh, doing quite a lot of things. I've been a part of hospitality for some time, so that's it. And that's pretty much it. Uh, so larger part has been working with aircraft and aviation. So now, can you ask? Me? How did you feel like when you were going to that particular place where you were going to have an interview with the? Whatever HL kind of people mm-hmm. you were going to have with, how did you feel at that time? That did you feel nervous? Did you feel of confident? Of course, of course. Nervousness is always a part of any, any, you know, face to face, or rather, I would call it a face off. You know, any any face off. The nervousness is always there, uh, but you have to hide that. You have to hide that somewhere. And then think of a smile like you are smiling right in front of me right now. I'm I'm sure that you are nervous too. Am I? Are you? Um, uh, in the beginning, yeah, I was. But now you're not. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so uh, it was that. So I I was of definitely nervous, and I was answering all the questions, and I did it, and that's how I made it. And it was it was very interesting. And very satisfying, of course. Um, so it, it's it's an exercise which I uh, would love to do again and again because you know getting questioned and then your ability to answer it's a it's a it's a fantastic feeling. I think so. Um, like you ask me a question and if I am able to answer and if I am able to satisfy you, so I will definitely be happy. Right? So. I hope I have answered your question. Yeah. yeah. All right then. We wish you um, all the best for your art journey and uh, you know your architectural aspirations. I hope you reach there um, without wasting any time and you be the best architect in India in the world. Yeah. So. Thank you. And and the. And for your artwork, so uh, you can send us those, uh, you know, the artwork of yours. We'll we'll flash it on the screen. I mean, in the video at the end, right? For people to appreciate, so that they can appreciate your art. They can also see your art, and uh, they can talk about you. They can appreciate you, right? So, yeah. Thank you very much for being with us. Thank you. I I. It was a pleasure to talk with you, actually. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Nice talking. Bye bye. Bye.